The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the second book of Samuel. The king said to Joab and the senior army officers who were with him, Now go through all the tribes of Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, and take a census of the peoples. I wish to know the size of the population. Joab gave the king the census results for the people. Israel had 800,000 fighting men who could wield a sword, and Judah, 500,000. But afterwards, David's heart misgave him for having taken a census of the people. David then said to Yahweh, I've committed a grave sin by doing this. But now, Yahweh, I beg you to forgive your servant for this fault, for I've acted very foolishly. When, however, David got up the next morning, the following message had come from Yahweh to the prophet Gad, David's seer. Go and say to David, Yahweh says this, I offer you three things. Choose which one of them I am to inflict on you. So Gad went to David and said, Which do you prefer? To have three years of famine before your country? To flee for three months before a pursuing army? Or to have three days of epidemic in your country? Now think and decide how I am to answer him who sends me. David said to Gad, I am very apprehensive. Better to fall into Yahweh's hands since his mercies are great than to fall into the hands of men. So David chose the epidemic. It was the time of the wheat harvest. So Yahweh unleashed an epidemic on Israel from that morning until the time determined. Plague ravaged the people. And of the people from Dan to Beersheba, 70,000 died. But when the angel stretched his hand toward Jerusalem to destroy it, Yahweh felt sorry about the calamity and said to the angel who was destroying the people, Enough now! Hold your hand! The angel of Yahweh was standing by the threshing floor of Aruna the Jebusite. When David saw the angel who was ravaging the people, he said to Yahweh, I was the one who sinned. I was the one who acted wrongly. But these, the flock, what have they done? Let your hand lie heavy on me and on my family. And our response is taken from Psalm 32. How blessed are those whose offense is forgiven, whose sin blotted out? How blessed are those to whom Yahweh imputes no guilt, whose spirit harbors no deceit? I made my sin known to you, did not conceal my guilt. I said, I shall confess my offense to Yahweh. And you, for your part, took away my guilt, forgave my sin. That is why each of your faithful ones prays to you in time of distress. Even if great floods overflow, they will never reach your faithful. You are a refuge for me. You guard me in trouble. With songs of deliverance, you surround me. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Leaving that district, Jesus went to his hometown, and his disciples accompanied him. With the coming of the Sabbath, he began teaching in the synagogue, and most of them were astonished when they heard him. They said, where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been granted him, and these miracles that are worked through him? This is the carpenter, surely the son of Mary, the brother of James, Joseph, and Jude. Simon, his sisters too, are they not here with us? And they would not accept him. And Jesus said this to them, A prophet is despised only in his own country, among his own relations, and in his own house. And he could work no miracle there, except that he cured a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. He made a tour around the villages, teaching the Gospel of the Lord.